good morning all. Good morning. My uh, reflection today will be taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 39 through 45. This gospel narrative, Mary visited her cousin Elizabeth, and uh, her presence with El Elizabeth brought uh, tremendous joy and happiness both to Elizabeth and the infants in her womb. And also Mary brought our Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, to the entire household of Elizabeth. Reminding us here that we should always follow and imitate our Blessed Mother, seeing that we bring joy, happiness, and also ultimately bringing Jesus to others. How do we do this? When we were baptized, we receive uh, three great gifts that will always help us to bring Jesus to others. One, when we are baptized, we receive the gift of mission. Our mission is spreading the goodness and kindness of our divine Savior wherever we see ourselves. Our families, in our workplaces, even in the grocery shop, wherever we see ourselves, in our neighborhoods, we should always spread the goodness and kindness of our divine Savior, making Jesus known both by our words and actions and deeds. Most, most especially by example, because action, they said, speaks louder than words. So we should always be Christ-like wherever we see ourselves. By so doing, we are drawing people closer to God. We are spreading His goodness and kindness. Most especially during this difficult time, people want to be reassured of the presence of God every moment of their life. Secondly, when we are baptized, we receive the gift of being a source of joy, happiness, and also we receive the gift of making Jesus known or bringing the blessings of God to others. How just like our blessed mother that brought a tremendous joy and happiness to Elizabeth and the entire household. So we should be instruments and the channel through which God can bless others. We should always live by example. We should always try as much as we can to be source of joy, happiness. Especially during this festive time. We can uh, maybe make our time, make some phone calls, call people. There are so many people who feel isolated, who feel abandoned. So many of them are quarantined, they feel so lonely. So if we call them, that is a way of bringing joy and happiness, putting smile in their faces again. Or we can even surprise them with a little gift. When they receive gift, they will know that somebody cares, somebody still loves them. And also, finally, when we are baptized, we receive the gift of trusting and believing in God. Our Blessed Mother trusted God throughout her life. Even in joyful and sorrowful moments, his faith and trust in God never wavered. He stood resolutely on unwavered faith in God. So we should always follow her example. Even in difficult time like we're experiencing now, we should always keep making a leap of faith, keep being strong, holding faith in our trust, in our belief in God. Knowing that at the end of it all, a victory will be ours. God will see us through. If we persevere at the end, there will be tremendous joy, happiness. God will never abandon us. God will never dare. God, His word is always yes and yes, no and no. Let's, we pray that it's always be yes, positive, even in difficult time, in challenging time. May we continue to hold firm on our faith until the end. So I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and also letting you know that I will be away for some time visiting my family. So I'll be back maybe a few weeks time to continue our reflection, our discussion. 
and we hope that uh, 2021 will be a hopeful and a blessed and a renewed new year for everybody. God bless you all. Enjoy.